Now that the NCAA tournament is over and hey, it's Tiger Woods, y'all. He is getting an even bigger spotlight shining on Augusta because he says he's going to try and play in the Masters this week. Eldrick back on the practice tee again today. His time on the course cut short because of thunderstorms. Then he met the media for the first time and said he's going to try and play. He hopes his right leg that was injured badly in a car wreck a little more than a year ago is strong enough to walk the hills of Augusta National for 18 holes on consecutive days. It's the recovery, you know, how, how am I going to get all the you know, swelling out and recover for the next day? And uh, my team has been fantastic and worked very hard. Um, so we've got another day of nine more holes and uh, then come game time. He scheduled to tee off at 10 at 34 a.m. ECU alum Harold Varner III will tee off at 108 p.m. The college basketball season a wrap. North Carolina looked like it was going to cruise to its seventh NCAA tournament title. The Heels had a 16 point lead, but Kansas pulled off the biggest comeback in NCAA tournament title history. David McCormick 15 points down low, including this bucket with 20 seconds to go to give Kansas a three point lead. UNC had three looks at the basket and didn't hit any of those three shots and they fall 72 69 ending what was a great run in the tournament. I can't remember a time in my life where I should be disappointed, but I'm just filled with so much pride. I'm so proud of these guys of what they have done. We all really wanted to win. We came this far and this was a huge goal for us was to just hang up a banner and, you know, it didn't go to what we wanted. Well, Kansas, the one celebrating its fourth national title, the Heels now back in Chapel Hill with a 29 and 10 record to finish the year. They lose Brady Manick and Ryan McAdoo. Leaky Black can return for one more year if he wants. Everyone else, their underclassmen, will see what they're going to do. ECU baseball moving its game with Old Dominion from tonight to tomorrow because of the rain that our meteorologists are forecasting. High school baseball, D.H. Conley having another stellar season. The Vikings are 10 and 2, and in the process, head coach Jason Mills picked up his 400th career win. A nice milestone for the physics teacher who has found all the right angles to help his team win two state championships since taking over since 1999. I don't like that. I don't like attention. I'll be quite honest. I mean, I like the attention to be on these these 16 and 17 year old kids. I mean, you know, the relationships that we make uh, with these young men and and the friendships we make over over years is what's really important. Well, Conley back in action. They'll take on Stoneman Douglas High School in the Easter Tournament game tomorrow. They return to Big Carolina Conference play next week. For the rest of your ENC Sports, make sure you go to our website, WCTI12.com. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.